Hey guys, today I have another quick Canva tutorial. And today's tutorial is not exactly about a feature, but more like um, a usage tip. So oftentimes I get asked by um, people, you know, uh, some people who have purchased templates from me or just random people who come to my blog and they see that I have Canva related tutorials and they leave these um, questions, uh, specifically this particular question where they ask me, how do I delete a template or a design that was either shared uh, with me or a template that I purchased and then I um, clicked on the template and now I want to get rid of it from my Canva library, but I can't seem to be able to do that. And this is a real problem and the answer is unfortunately you cannot get rid of those templates and those shared designs. So for example, if I come to my Canva and all of these, most of these are my own designs. Um, but um, in this account specifically, most of these are my designs, but if I go back, like way back, I have some designs that were um, either shared with me or I bought them um, because it just felt, I, I just liked the real template, even though I myself design templates a lot, but sometimes when I, when I really like a template by somebody else, sometimes I purchase that to create my own um, graphics and whatnot, uh, to create my own um, ebooks and whatnot. So one of the templates that I had purchased quite a quite a while ago is this template. I love this template. It's not my template, but I bought it um, from, I believe, um, either Creative Market or Etsy because I loved it and I actually used it to create an ebook that I was working on for my own stuff. So um, because I loved it so much, I just bought it. But the problem is that I can't delete it. Um, even after I had designed my product and I had no need for this template anymore, I can click the three dots and I, I look for a way to trash this, but there is no link that allows me to do that, which um, is very different for my own design. So for example, this is one of the designs that I have that I created myself. And if I click the three dots, you will see an option that says move to trash. So if I click move to trash, that will be deleted from my library. But I cannot do that with designs that were either shared with me or if it's a template that I bought and I clicked on the template and it opened on my Canva account and it's just there permanently. So if you're trying to like organize your Canva account, you're stuck with these designs that uh, at some point either uh, was shared with you or you bought a template, you click on that template and it's now open on your Canva, it's just there forever. You would think that there would be a good way to get rid of them, but unfortunately at this point, Canva doesn't allow you to delete designs that were either shared with you or if, a t if you had opened a template, a third party template, um, that you bought from someone, you cannot delete those once you have opened them um, on your Canva account. You can delete templates that are uh, within Canva's library. So if you use a Canva template, like from Canva's template library, you can delete that, but you cannot delete a template that you purchased from somebody else. Like, you know, one user very recently within the last week or so, um, which is why um, I'm actually making this video. One user who had purchased some templates from my website, the side blogger, and if you go to Canva templates, I have this, you know, a template shop and somebody purchased quite a few templates from me. And now they're like, you know, I have used these templates and I love them, but I'm not going to use them anymore. And I'm trying to get rid of them. What do I do? How do I get rid of them from my Canva's library? And the answer is unfortunately cannot. So since I cannot give you a resolution for how to delete these templates that have been either shared with you or you purchase a template, here's something else that I will tell you, which will hopefully um, give you some for a little bit of sanity back um, because it can be quite maddening sometimes. 
So this is Canva's homepage, right? And in your homepage, you have all these designs, all of the designs that you have ever created for yourself or designs by somebody else or whatever. They all live in the Canva, on the Canva's homepage. You can see all of them. Now, that in itself is kind of annoying because, you know, this is showing all of your designs. So if you're someone who likes to keep uh, who likes to keep things organized, then this is definitely not the place to look for a template. You know, your homepage is not where you start working usually. So what you can do is go to projects because that's where things are a lot more organized. So when you're on under the projects tab, all projects, you have some recent design. It's only showing you one line. You can, you know, scroll, keep scrolling. Um, but ultimately this is more organized because the first, the first section is yes, the recent designs. And right after that you have folders. So I honestly recommend all of you, especially if you create a lot of designs, organize them by folders. And you can create a folder pretty easily, um, you know, at the very top right-hand corner. If you click Add New, you can um, add a new folder if you want to, and then organize your designs by folders. And if you're on Canva Pro, then you have access to as many folders as you want as opposed to free members who only can create, I think, a uh, limited number of folders. So if you're on Canva Pro, you should definitely organize all of your designs by folders. So from here at the top left corner, right under projects, you see the tab, uh, the drop down that says owner. So this is a filter. So there are multiple filters. One of them is owner, one of them is category. So if you have different categories, you can filter them from here, uh, or you can filter them by modified last modified date. Um, but for a little bit more organization and specifically uh, pertaining to the topic we're talking about, you know, how to not have to deal with either templates that you purchased or designs that were shared with you, Go to the owner drop down and you should see three different options. Any owner, which is the default option, and it basically shows all of the designs on your Canva library. So your own designs, designs that were shared with you by somebody else, or um, templates you purchased and opened on your Canva. You can see them here. The second option is shared with you. If you click that, then you should only see the designs that were shared with you by somebody else. Or if you go to the third option, which is just your name, in my case, obviously it's my name, Maliha, or if you have a different name, uh, you know, for example, one of my other Canva account has the name the side blogger, so I know, you know, you can change your name. But in this account, um, I'm the owner and it's under my own name. So if I click that, then you should only see your own designs and it's not going to show you any designs that were shared with you or any design that um, you know you purchased from somebody else like a Canva template. It only shows you the designs that you have created. So that's one way of dealing with the insane uh, way of trying to find designs from your own designs and from shared designs or templates that you purchased. So this is the best possible solution as of right now um, in the absence of the ability to delete altogether designs that have been shared with you. So just work from the projects tab, go to all projects and then choose, you know, whether you want to just work with their own designs or um, only the designs that were shared with you or by any owner. Um, and that way um, you have a little more control over um, the designs that you're working with. So hopefully that answers uh, your question if you have ever wondered you know, how to get rid of those, um, those stray designs that at some point you either 
open from somebody else or templates you open from someone else. Um, this is one way of dealing with that. Uh, but unfortunately, as of creating this video, there is no way to delete those designs, the shared designs. Um, so yeah, hopefully this, this is somewhat helpful or at the very least this gives you an answer as to you know how to be a little more organized with your canva designs that's it for today and i will see you with a different video shortly bye